I'm Nino, Director of Product here at Combo. Today, we'll talk about the IR blasters included with your control center, why you might need them, and where to place them. Many remotes send signals to the devices they're controlling using an infrared light signal, or IR, which you can't see. If something is blocking the path of the remote, the device will not be able to see the light, just like how the light from a flashlight is blocked if you cover it up. That's why you need a clear line of sight between the remote and whatever you're trying to control. The control Center uses IR to control some devices like TVs, Xboxes, and some cable boxes. A lot of people ask, where does IR come from? The signals are sent from Control Center, not the remote control. So, for devices that are controlled via IR, there needs to be a clear line of sight for everything to work. For example, in the setup we have here, the control center is inside a closed cabinet. Our TV is controlled by IR, and since the IR signals can't be seen outside the cabinet, we need some way to get those signals to the TV. This is where the IR blasters come in. Simply plug the 3.5 millimeter jack into the back of your control center and place the IR blaster so it's facing the TV. If you need to use IR for your cable box, you will place the IR blaster in front of your cable box. If you need IR blasters, Control Center will prompt you during setup. Thanks for watching, and we hope this video was helpful.